welcome to another studio vlog. Today is a makeup free office kind of day. I got the orange tissue paper which was here and I was playing around with how to package the products and stuff which I actually was getting really frustrated with so I just roped my mum in and she has come into my office and helped me out deciding how we're going to package it so I will insert that little clip now. Me and mum are sussing out how we're going to package orders up because I'm employing mum as my little uh, helper. She's not employing me at all. I might if it goes well and I've got the money <laughs> but Please order loads. <laughs> Please order loads, it's paying for my mum's life. Um, but yeah, we're just sorting out this, uh, what's it called, tissue paper and deciding where to put this as well because I can put that wherever. That's something else I want to decide. Look at how neat mum is, I would not do it this neat. Yeah, I like that. You can't be that slow though every time you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be. <laughs> be practice. <laughs> and yesterday I actually uh, got my guillotine little cutter machine -y thing and I cut up all the little note cards that I was showing you in last week's studio vlog. So if you want to see those note cards, head over to last week's video. But yeah, it's been quite a productive few days. Now I am going to take some flat lay images once again. So I have pulled my chair out from under my desk and I'm going to set up my... Uh, light and I'm going to clip my camera to my desk and take some photos so I will film the process as always and yeah hopefully we get some good Instagram photos out of this and fingers crossed you will have seen some of those already by the time this video goes up so let's go. I have been chopping up the tissue paper that I got because I realized that it's going to be so much easier and it'll speed up our packing process if I chopped it up so I was using my new little guillotine very happy with that purchase already that saved me so much time and it was quite fiddly because it was hard not to rip the um, tissue paper but I did it and you might have seen a little sneak peek but look at the size of this pile of kind of whatever this stuff is that I've just made. So I had obviously like loads of bits of tissue paper left over and I thought oh, I might as well use it for some more packaging. So yeah, it's literally like two drawers high, full, big pile. And obviously when we package, we could just add like a handful of this in the bottom to make it look kind of cute. So I am gonna put this into a carrier bag which we had to rummage for because we don't have carrier bags anymore. We have all like the reusable ones. And yeah, I'm gonna put that in with my packaging stuff. Of course, all of this stuff is eco-friendly or biodegradable and tissue paper is actually biodegradable. So that is why I've gone with tissue paper because it looks cute and it doesn't harm the environment at the same time. A couple of days later now and as you can see I have purple hair but let's just ignore that so I thought I would show you what I've been getting up to these past few days there just hasn't been too much to film I'm waiting on some more stamps for my packaging boxes you saw in the last clip me stamping a hundred boxes that took so long and I've got to do that all over again because there's another stamp I want to put on them but it's coming together. I have officially set a release date for the shop. So put it in your calendars, put it in your diaries, set an alarm. Wednesday the 18th of September at 5 p.m. is when the prints will get released for pre-order. So 
the plan is i think i mentioned this in the last studio vlog but the plan is to open it for pre-orders for like a week or two to kind of gauge interest to figure out which prints are the most popular and kind of understand how many i need to order of each print i basically don't want to be over ordering stock because i don't have the space to store it and also i don't want to end up with like extra stock that i can't shift so yeah i'm gonna try and order as and when i need it for kind of space and environmental reasons but yeah that means that you guys on wednesday can order some prints if you would like shipping is available worldwide so if you aren't just watching from the uk you can also order obviously it'll just take a little bit longer for that to ship and when you do order just bear in mind that the money will come out straight away but the product itself won't get shipped until the pre-orders get released which will be in a couple of weeks so yes if you would like to support me right from the start right from the get-go Wednesday the 18th at 5 p.m. is your time to shine. I'm very excited and very nervous and terrified and all the feelings, but hopefully um, after some TLC and some hard work, it will it'll work out. But anyway, on to the prints themselves. I thought I would show you a little bit of behind the scenes of my shop because I've had a few people asking how I set it up, what I use, etc, etc. But I thought I'd show you now while there aren't too many numbers on it and it's not too confusing. So I am using Shopify. This is what I see at the back end of the website. So I'm just clicked on the home page right now and on here when I obviously get some sales, it will show me today's sales, today things, like loads of breakdowns. If you wanna pause it and have a better look, go for it. But it kind of shows you who views it, whether it's open, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. At the minute, my password is on my website so you can't get on it. So it says my store isn't open yet and it also says Facebook and Google Shopping aren't connected for that same reason. So when I get an order, I've done a few test orders, which I'll show you in here. When I get an order, they'll come in here. So I have ordered things myself twice and um, either refunded them or fulfilled them. And this is where the order will come up and is where I kind of ship things from. So if I just click on one of these, this is what comes up obviously this order i refunded but it shows you at the top here what was ordered so i ordered two versions of the gill power print it shows you where it's stocked and how much it was any notes from the customer obviously the customer at that time was me and obviously here is the shipping and the tax which we don't charge at the minute and the total then if i scroll down it just has the address which i put in as you can see is an australian address just a random one to test whether the international thing worked and then i can leave any comments for myself or send comments to the customers etc etc this is the product page so at the moment i have six products on here one of them i'm refining a little bit this one here the have courage and be kind one will not be getting released on release day because i can't really get the design perfect just yet so watch the space but the other ones will all be getting released on release day so i've got five no four prints girl power leonora she believed and you do you and then the stationery bundle from my last round of merch and once these stationery bundles are gone i'm gonna re-release a new little notepad idea which i have in the works i'm very excited to share that with you and then when you click in these um things it gives you a description of uh whatever you write for the description so this is the description for girl power you can upload a photo you add it to the categories that it fits and then further down is just kind of inventory stuff um and the weight of it various different bits of information that are very boring and took forever to fill in and i can't be bothered to talk through them then i have customers on the left which i'm not going to click on because it's got loads of people's email addresses on then analytics tells me who visits where they visit how long they visit how many sales i make obviously in here right now it's pretty empty because all i have is a few people come in to sign up to the page but hopefully this kind of gets filled up as and when uh, my top two location sources currently are the UK and the US, mainly on desktop um, and where you kind of found me from, all that kind of behind the scenes stuff. And you can go further into that down here as well. Marketing, I've not really ventured into yet. I can't really go into this too much until I actually set my page live. But this is just basically any sponsored adverts or 
encouraging customers to come back once they kind of abandon their checkout or whatever i can't really do anything about that until we get going discount is where i can set up kind of codes and discount codes so currently i have a discount code set up for anyone who signs up to the website i'm going to cover it up on screen but if you want to get this discount code here which you cannot see head over to the website it's just soulandfire.co.uk it's linked in the description if you sign up you will get 10% off your first order. I can also set up to do automatic discounts. So for example, if you get five pound off after spending 30 pounds, I'd set that up in here. That's kind of the main things. I have a few apps which help me kind of connect things together. So on here, I've got my Facebook marketing app, uh, the cookie consent banner, Google shopping, which is not working yet because my store's closed, kit, which I've not tried. It's something to do with marketing. I will report back. Order printer is basically software that lets me print out everyone's orders in a nice pretty way to include in their parcels. And then Zapier is like this automation system that I use. And then you can install various apps. So it kind of integrates with other systems as well, which I really like. Um, and then on here is where the website is. So I can make my products available on the online store, Instagram or Facebook shop. These two aren't working until I press go. This one is, so I will show you a little preview. So this will be all done and officially ready to go on Wednesday. But I can change the theme, I can change any posts, pages, navigations, domains and preferences. So I have this set up at the minute, this banner I'm going to change. That's something I'm going to do at the beginning of next week. So yeah, that is the little preview of my new website. I hope you are as excited as I am for it all to release. And those of you who order within the kind of first chunk of people will all get those little note cards that I was cutting up earlier in this vlog. You'll also get everything wrapped in that little box with the cute packaging and everything that I have been showing you. So yeah i'm i'm excited for it all to get started i'm very very nervous and feel like i'm a little bit out of my own depth here but we can only try i'll never know unless i give it a go wow that rhymed <laughs> i guess that's where i'm gonna end this vlog uh the next vlog will i guess be release day and kind of the run-up to release day which is terrifying so uh, watch this space but yeah thanks so much for watching the video i hope you have enjoyed it thanks for all the love and support and i'll see you soon for another vlog bye